All right, all right, LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, I told y'all I was going to drop this video shortly after the uh, Chris Cyborg fight. You know, I'm going to go ahead and ether Joe Rogan and the whole commentating cast, but mostly Joe Rogan. Because, see, Joe Rogan tried to make it seem like that it was just Jermaine Duran to me. See, y'all see, how, see how, how, how slick they are? Y'all see how they give Megan Anderson and Holly Holm? Y'all see how they give these guys a pass? But for doing the same thing that Jermaine Duran to me did, all of these women ducked Chris Cyborg. They all did. And the only woman on this screen that had the guts to get in there with Cyborg was Tanya Evinger. Okay? Look, I'm so sick of them. You know, I'm sick and tired of the whole narrative where they get this BCN narrative. Okay? The BCN narrative. And y'all know what that is. So here it is. Okay? Here it is right now. So two women, the only difference is between Megan and Jermaine is that Jermaine was a title holder. Stop it. But they, they was quick to say, well, Megan had personal problems. No, Joe, you bald-headed ass. Megan ducked Cyborg. Get it right. Megan Anderson ducked Cyborg. Repeat. And you know what? I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. See, now, you know, Megan going to get on social media. She's going to run her mouth. See, I'm going to tell you something. When Chris Cyborg, if, if Megan ever get enough guts to get in the octagon with Cyborg, I guarantee you the fight's going to look totally different. I bet you Chris Cyborg will be inspired to finish Megan in the first round, in the first 30 seconds. That's what's going to happen to Megan Anderson if she fights Cyborg. You see, Megan, and I've been telling y'all on this channel, Tanya Evinger is a Hall of Famer. I told y'all this was going to be, that, that Tanya would survive at least two rounds. I told y'all this. I tried to tell y'all. That Tanya Evinger is no walking apart. Oh, and by the way, Bantamweight division, you guys don't notice. Oh, point blank. <laughs> a lot of y'all in that Bantamweight division, y'all don't notice. I told y'all this was a tough girl. I told y'all. But see, the problem with the UFC is they can't keep it real. They can't keep it real. And I put this photograph of Tanya Evinger up with the middle fingers up. Because this is what I want to say to the UFC, okay? First of all, I want to say, and I'm doing this on behalf of Tanya Evinger. This is on behalf of the UFC, okay? This is on behalf of Evinger. And, and this photograph with the middle finger stuck up is, is perfect. This is the perfect picture to, to stick it right to the UFC. Because you guys, y'all denied this woman for years because she wouldn't kiss y'all ass. Let's be real. Tanya Evinger wouldn't kiss your ass. Tanya Evinger wouldn't tell you what you want to hear. She didn't do a lot of things. To, to gain a contract. She was happy and Victor doing her thing. Okay. And so now, you know, she got and had an opportunity. Now she's going to go back to the Bantamweight division. And now y'all stuck with her. And now, guess what? Guess what she finna do? Oh, she finna beat up on some of your up-and-coming prospects. That's right. She's going to beat up on some of your up-and-coming uh, prospects that you're going to try to be make a hype job. That's what she's going to do now. That's just how that is. That's just the way that is. And you know what? It's going to be good. It's going to be real, real good, okay? You see, guys like Joe Rogan, guys like these guys, man, they can't keep it real. They can't tell the honest truth. Nah. Mm -mm. Megan Anderson ain't getting no pass. Not from coach. Oh, I'm going to put it out there every chance I get. Oh, she ducked Cyborg too, right along with Jermaine Duran to me. See, we always want to villainize. We always want to villainize certain fighters. And it's like, why is it? Why is that mostly the Brazilian fighters? Okay, let, let, I'm being real. We play the role of the villain. The minority fighters, the villain. No, no, no. Megan Anderson finna share some of this profit. Oh, hell yeah. So shout out once again to Tanya Evinger. Shout out once again for stepping in there and doing what you two couldn't do. She went in there and did what you two couldn't do and put up, probably put up a damn good, better fight. A bantamweight. A bantamweight. And y'all can say, oh, well, you know, Jermaine Durandame really is a bantamweight. Doesn't even matter. Jermaine Durandame was a featherweight when she won the damn title. Shut up. All of y'all. And now y'all know the truth. Y'all see how, y'all see how biased, y'all see how, y'all see how this is? That's why Coach Sheldon Harrison here to provide a balance. That's right. That's why the coach is here to provide a balance, okay? See, I'm not finna let these guys just do and say what they want because Coach finna come right back at them. Oh, yeah. You darn right. And I hope I can get another interview with Evinger. I hope I, you know what? And I'm really pushing for that interview with Cyborg. And I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Because, see, we need to have these fighters spilling their guts. They need to go on and just put it all out there. 
Because how Cyborg was treated, how Evanger was treated, it's just no excuse. But I tell you what, though, uh, these two at the top, oh, they duck Cyborg. Point blank, period. I'm done. 